Do you want to become an HVAC technician in California? Keep watching to find out more. Training. If you want to become an HVAC technician in California, first you need a high school diploma or GED. After that, you'll need to attend a community college that offers HVAC courses and training. Some technicians receive HVAC technician training without attending a program or college, but this might not always be the best route to take when you're new to the world of HVAC units. An HVAC training program is an essential part of learning the basics of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. You'll gain a solid introductory foundation in HVAC and develop critical knowledge and skills that you'll need to become a full-time HVAC technician. After you receive your education as an HVAC technician, you can decide to do an apprenticeship if you like, although it's not required to receive HVAC technician training from a college. An HVAC apprenticeship usually lasts between three to five years. During the apprenticeship, you'll work under the supervision of an HVAC technician and will usually earn a salary. Expenses. When receiving your training from a contractor, you'll have to pay a fee. The fee cost is usually between $500 and $2,000. The tools and equipment you need are also your responsibility. If you decide to go to college, the tuition costs vary according to the school. For example, a low-cost program costs around $500, while a high-cost school costs $30,000. A California contractor's license application fee of $330 is required. After passing the exam, there's an initial license fee of $200 to become an HVAC service technician. A fingerprinting fee is also required. An HVAC license is not issued to you through a college or trade school, nor can you obtain one without meeting all state requirements. Apprenticeships The traditional role of an apprentice is to learn a trade with a mentor. In contrast to college or vocational training, apprenticeships are on-the-job programs. As a journeyman, you can take several years of training before becoming a licensed contractor. However, apprenticeships aren't required for those who pursue HVAC degrees or certificates. If you decide to attend HVAC training from a college, you'll have the chance to finish your program within 32 to 40 weeks. Additionally, you'll have the option to take online and on-campus HVAC courses and receive complete guidance from instructors who currently work in the field. License to work. As a contractor looking for HVAC professional opportunities, you need a California HVAC license. The Contractors State Licensing Board regulates the HVAC industry to ensure all HVAC contractors in the state comply with these requirements. The board must license HVAC contractors and technicians. Also, without a state HVAC license, you can't operate any organized HVAC truck. Requirements. You must meet specific requirements to apply for a California HVAC license. Here are the essentials you must have. You must be 18 or older, an individual tax ID number, ITIN, or social security number, SSN. Obtain at least four years of experience working at the journey level during the last 10 years. Remember to include a detailed resume of your professional experience with your application. A certifier will have to verify your employment history as part of the application. So an employer, foreman, or supervisor will have to sign the form. Getting the proper HVAC training will set you up to become a top tier professional within the industry. When you're ready, contact us today and we'll get you started on training right away. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.